Kabaras have ajacked Tunubu's government. Wari ex minister dialogue. <laughs> when I don't start again, no. Oh. <laughs> This issue of hijacking government, when I don't start again, this matter was on ground during the former president, Muhammad Buhari's time. Who are those Kabas? And what are their missions? I'll be asking. What are their missions? What exactly are they looking for? Well, Nigerians, make we hit the news and get the food details. But this will really shock you. If you're just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. A former minister of sports, Solomon Dalog, on Wednesday alleged that Kabaz in the presidency have ajacked President Bola Tinubu's administration. Dalog, who was a minister under the administration of ex-president Muhammad Buhari, Alleged that members of the Kabas, include some of Tunubu's appointees in the presidency who are working with vested interests outside the government. Speaking on Chinese television on Wednesday, Dalok also advised Tunubu on to on how to avoid Kabas in his government. According to Dalok, the president should appoint only those who believe in his vision and who he, he knows. Dalok said, the Kaaba is possible and avoidable. The only way to avoid these people while making your first critical appointment, which is the chief of staff, the secretary to the government of the federation, the national secretary advisor, the Minister of Justice, you must be able to bring the people whom you know and believe in your vision. These cabars we are talking about, these foot soldiers are more active than them. They don't hold strategic appointments, but they are either SA or PA, the Chief of Staff. Of Chief of Staff. These are the people who leak the memos and monitor everything the president is doing and relating it to the powers vested outside the government. Even this very government has been hijacked by the Kabas, Nigerians, who now don't hear the matter so. They say the government of President Bola Tinubu has been hijacked. Too. Also recall that some time ago, the, the president of Ariwa, Shetima, okay, Shetima Yerima also lamented that President Bola Tinubu government has been hijacked by Kabaz in Asu Rock. And now the question is, who the question is, who are these Kabaz? What are their missions? And why are they doing this? Okay, good and fine. If this has been noticed that Naso these people they operate to and there are, and all that, why can't they you know, bring these people to book. There's something in Nigeria. There's something about this country. There's something about our leaders that I don't really understand. If something they happen like this, then go tell you, say, hey, they happen. But they no not really find the root of that matter. Just like the way they will tell us, or they are still telling us, that there are some persons who are making money or who made money with the uh, subsidy, uh, remover and all that. There are some individuals who are just making money. They are packing money in, 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 in fact, into their pockets. These people, they are untouched. These people, in fact, they will say so. They will tell us that there are some persons who are sponsoring uh, banditry and Boko Haram in Nigeria. They know them very well, but they cannot be touched. Now, the question is, oh, these people, are they Nigerians? I beg. And if they are Nigerians, are they above the law? If the law in Nigeria for a particular set of people, anyway, that one is by the wayside. Whether they are jack the government too, or they are now a jack -amo, that one not be waiting for one here. This is not the time of all this matter. We want action right now. The country is not in a good shape. 
you are talking about the security, you are talking about the economy, you are talking about corruption. These are the three things now when we say you don't eat up this country too much. Before the former president came in, he came with this manifesto. He's going to he's going to fight insecurity in Nigeria. He's going to fight, he's going to make sure that Nigeria economy will be stable and better. He's going to make sure that corruption is wiped is wiped out on the surf, surface of this country. I'm telling you, before he left office, the country became worse than it came. Now we are even experiencing the more. The question now be say, where will they go from here? So whether people they hijack this and this and that, many presidents wake up. Oh, nobody should hijack his president, uh, his his government, because they tell us when they when they were coming that they can do the job. So I see no reason why anybody will come from anywhere or nowhere and start hijacking their government when they are in full in full charge of their government. So the matter just gets us to be. If you are in, if you are in charge in full in your government. I see no reason why some persons we 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 hijack your government or we can't hear all this kind of matter say get some people when they hijack the government. This is not the time of uh -huh. this is not the time of issue of hijacking government because we no one hear this one. Okay, we know we hear this one no, for this time. We don't hear that one tire. We don't hear that matter tire. But this time around, we no go one hear. Her. I beg, make a drop arm for you. I want to see this matter. Are you sure? Do you believe him that there are persons in the uh, Aso Rock, you know, uh, that have jacked President Bola Mekinubu's government? I beg, drop your view below the comment section. If you are joining us for the first time, subscribe. I beg, not forget to subscribe. Thank you.